What is going on YouTube? It is Middlebro back with day 60 of the long haul. i just been doing some merging overnight, you know, doing my thing. About to be daytime here. Speak of, speak of daytime. I, you know, just putting stuff together. Um, you know, just seeing what we got. I did some, merge some magnums together, making a whole bunch of ammunition for the magnum. Because I figured I'm like, I haven't used the 40, haven't kind of had like a good old fashioned 44 Magnum FS for a while, so. I haven't, you know, got plenty of more bullet casings, I just need more lead for the, for the bullet tips, but really it's gunpowder. And, you know, show you here really quick. I've done a lot of con reinforced concrete, basically almost managed to get the basics, like, uh, you know, get this uh, all concrete, you know, um, forges are still working away at smelting down iron. Just gonna continue to let them do their thing. It's one of those, just, uh, I figured, since I got so much iron ore, I could work on just making, and, uh, you know, just work on that stuff, and, Oh, hey, we got another pistol that I can put put some stuff in. We're just kind of looking, you know, I figured for the pistol, we're, the pistol's got up to level 570, the, we're still on the hunt for the elusive AK, uh, the AK stuff and all that. Actually, I actually have another stock, but we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Don't really need to worry about some... Hunting rifle stuff, but um, we'll put the snowballs away. Yeah, just working on more, more merging stuff. You know, just just trying to do it all. Um, magnum crafting's almost done. We're we're gonna see what the shotgun barrel gets. It's a little 588, so getting closer on that. I think we almost have the perfect stuff for it. Checking up on my shotgun stuff. 568 is my receiver, but um, I wanted to pull apart the that did not need to pull that pistol apart. But um, oh, I was grabbing the pistol. My apologies, YouTube. Did not realize I didn't grab the pistol, but um, we'll put the hunting rifle back together. Throw the. Oops, um, we'll throw that back together, see what we got. A little 493, so we're close to a little 500 hunting rifle. And we'll grab, we'll grab a little 570 here, and we'll just kind of merge that grip and get more quality out of it. Some people might be asking, you know, like, you might ask, why am I keeping the pistol and the hunting rifle around if I can't consider them to be obsolete? It's really just kind of one of those things. I want to have a, I want to have a nice, um, you know, kind of trophies. That's how I kind of see them. Uh, back to the pistol there. Low 574, so. Yeah, we're looking good, and I have some concrete to gather, but I was thinking before I kind of start doing that jazz, we can go over and raid what used to be kind of my humble abode up on top of the cracker book, you know, just check to see what schematics we got over there. Let me just put the guns away real quick, like, you know, we'll throw that stuff together and, well, I'll do the, I'll do more merging later, but. There's a time and a place for that. You can use those pistol parts to sell, and I've got nerdy glasses, so we'll just throw in some dukes into the old sellables box here. There's that military helmet I was talking about. Wish I grabbed it <laughs> in the last episode, but if I could, you know, if I could throw a helmet light onto it, I would gladly do it. But yeah. That's real. It's really no biggie. 
Uh, we'll just throw the bullet making materials in and I can, we'll grab the magnum ammunition just in case there's some zombies that need to uh, that that want to be introduced to, uh, to the to the power of dirty Harry. Ha! Huh. Let's just run over here. Ah! I almost forgot I forgot about this little guy. The original uh, the original horde base uh, that I did. Oh, and would you look at that? There is some there's some zombies. Oh, because of the 44 Magnum, let's uh, pop uh, pop around off on the nurse. Yes, I love the Magnum. Come here. Yes. I, oh, and I really haven't even used handguns that much, so. Well, I guess we're going to start leveling up our good old-fashioned uh, handgun skill. <laughs> ah, but let's just crack into here really quick. Um, there's one thing I just kind of remember, like, sometimes, like, uh, I think I might even caught him saying it on in one of the episodes before, but, hey, sniper rifle schematic, and nail gun schematic, but, um, I think it's like you... One of Trader uh, one of Trader Rex uh, little uh, quotes is like when he kind of is having his banter, just kind of being Trader Rex is um, he says like he mentions a thing called uh, Borns and Noble. Like he says like you know like he can go try Borns and Noble or something like that. Uh, somebody knows the exact quote, yo. Know, you know, feel free to correct me. I'm, but he he says like you know you should go to Borns and Noble, and you know when I walked into the cracker book, I remembered this from like you know uh, watching like videos like I used to watch uh, uh, someone who used to do Seven Days to Die by the name of Meat Wagon Twenty Two like a uh, pretty funny guy like he still makes content to this day uh, on his channel and also. His uh, other channel, you always win, but uh, who does call it zombies content? That's a side though. I remember he used to call it. Um, there's Magnum Enforcer, but um, it used to be. I remember he played like some of the old versions, and it's like this used to be the Cracker Be the Cracker Book used to not be uh, Cracker Book. It used to be there. There was a as far as I'm aware, originally named Borns and Noble. Hey, a little bit of that. So that's a kind of fun little bit of Seven Days lore. It's like that I remember, you know, like, just kind of triggered a little little bit of a, uh, just kind of fun little thing there, so. Lair Duster. Um, actually, I'll save those classes. And, you know, Gunsmithing's up to level 78. What's our... Weaponsmithing's up to level seven, uh, 62, and, you know, just kind of one of those things I thought I'd share. It's like, it, it may seem random, but it's like, that's what crack, that, that's what Trader Rex refers to on the, on the old version of, on this version of Seven Days, like, when he says that quote, because, like, he will say, like, Boards and Noble. What you got for me? Pistol parts, I'll use those to repair. And we'll check the man. Top part of the fridge didn't survive. Shame, but yeah, beverage cooler. Hmm. I just heard it really quick. I'm like, I thought I'd check it. Um. Yeah, can you can even hear the buzzing on the sign. Not something you really hear, but if you're not paying too much attention, I want to grab some leather just to. Pair of these uh, layered dusters. I'll at least save one just so I can keep warm. But um, yeah, that's unless there's any zombies hanging around here, which I don't believe there are. Still have yet to harvest uh, some harvest the crops, but it's like I guess I I really should. But I'm gonna do that and. Then I'm going to go grab some, go grab a bunch of stone for 
concrete mix because I figured I'm going to upgrade this to steel and just kind of further fortify it. Uh, you know, got to get to concrete, so I will catch those of you on YouTube once I'm back from collecting some stone. We'll probably do a little bit of loading. Well, YouTube, I've just gotten back from my little grinding of uh, stone and everything. Got like almost 4,000 stone, really. Like, went out to the wilderness, grabbed a whole bunch, you know. I also hunted a little bit of animals for for, for their meat and, you know, just kind of get that together. Um, had a little bit of meat before, but figured, you know, wouldn't be a bad idea to have... You know, extra for meat stew. Um, we got m more corn there, and we got we got enough for uh, 15 of those. And oh yes, I have. I actually have some goldenrod tea. But um, I was going to just make a whole bunch of uh, meat stew. You know, just helps me out with the wellness. So. 15 on the craft and then with my stone what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of we're gonna split this into a thousand sand for for that and then I just listen to that really quick that was a satisfying sound. And I thought I sc scrapped my wrench, like, uh, or something, like, before I left my building project, but turns out I actually had a... Turns out I actually have... I, I stuck it in a box and completely forgot about it. Hey, I'm not I'm not complaining about it. That's one of those. I'll, I'll gladly take it. Of course, more iron and everything. And since I have a bunch of cold nitrate, you know, uh, keeping good, uh, uh, gonna, we're just gonna kind of work on extra gunpowder. Thing is, I'm wondering whether or not, well, I'm actually running low on shotgun shells, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to like, I'm taking all that stone and... Okay, Drago, have a good one. And, uh... Drago was just leaving the chat real quick from YouTube. Don't mind him, so... Uh... I was gonna... Yep, see you tomorrow. And... We're just gonna throw a whole bunch of... We're just gonna throw a bunch of... You know, wood in and just... Just get uh, get more of that smelted. I can. I'll grab more stone overnight. It's really not a. It's really not a big, big thing to do. It's like yo. Know, and I realize I have a pair of shades that I can merge with these just for extra little bits of. Uh, you know, just get a little bit extra quality on it. So. Five forty-five. Not not that big of a. Uh, quality improvement but it's really it really helps out and uh, we'll we'll throw well actually that will go into the I can actually make war gunpowder so hey we'll do I just need to throw more wood into the Sorry if that. I'm sorry if the uh, the chemistry station's a little annoying. It, but what can you do? And I said I was gonna do a bit more looting, so I actually have that perfect ball cap, which I'll take out of there because I don't want to sell it. We'll throw that with the in there, and we'll put the core and potatoes back really quick, just so we. Just so we don't forget. Actually, pick up the bedroll. I was gathering some uh, 
plant fibers, yo. Yeah. Some plant fibers earlier to make an iron bedroll, but I didn't. I completely forgot that it was still here. Um, what's how's the iron coming along on here? Iron still churn away, and like once that's done, I will just even though I'm calling in screamers, I'll still uh just throw in more. I'll throw in all my clay, you know, just to. Just to get it ready for... You just have, like, get some steel going, so... Uh, where's my mini bike? Um, there we... It's right here, so... Do I hear another screamer? Yep, another screamer. Hi, screamer. Yeah, we're gonna be making a lot of heat, so... There you go. And... Grab your food. Come here. I will have to do a little bit of flattening out because, like, over the horde nights that I didn't, you know, like, while doing, building my project, you know, did realize, like, one side of the base is not exactly looking the best, so. Well, it's like, have, have a little bit of trouble hitting zombies. And, so, and like, uh, keep in mind, like, like, this is just kind of like, just to give you an idea like what Horde Knights are doing now. Well, we got our Screamer. They're not doing Screamers, but... Go away. Oh! Hi! Oh no! No, 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 no. Get away from the, get away from the zombie bear. We do not need to. I know I'm bleeding, but... There we go. He's down. We got another dog. Darn dog could have caused me to start bleeding, but... Hey, <laughs> I'm just happy that I kept some medkits on me, so... Uh, we'll just curve this big guy up. Was not expecting... Like, I know sometimes, like, Screamer's... Oh, great, we got the glitch out Magnum now. Um, dog. Leveling up our handgun skill. Not gonna waste uh, rounds on the crawler boy here. The sweat, yo. Give him a good smack of Rooney, and then we give a... Brother a smack, and we got Steve! Hello! Yep. So yeah, that's really... Uh, done and I was about to go out a little bit of a loot, you know, and start looting, you know, like for another POI. But you know that when we got we got interrupted by the zombies. Uh, should really start merging for another merging for a nice high quality uh, hunting knife just to make this easier on myself. But. Um, We'll just harvest this one up and let's hop on the mini bike and we'll get her and get her looting. Uh, come on, come on, character. There's still a couple things I'm gonna do to the base, like you know, they're not steel related. They're, but you know, it's just uh, we're just chugging along here. Uh, okay, like I want to put some railings up here just so I don't go flying off, but thinking maybe go look at the uh go check out the uh the prison in the uh what is it called the uh the ostrich hotel. Which actually reminds me like so as I'm as of recording today, like you know, June seventh, uh keep in mind this goes out um fairly far in advance, uh for you on YouTube, which yo, know, I do encourage you folks if you if you like the series, if you like watching the series and you wanna yo know, see it early, yo, know, I do recommend you check out my Twitch channel. Davy Boy always uh, tells you at the beginning of the video, and he's uh you know my old mascot, but like uh, someone was uh, talking like yo. Know, because, like, I posted one of my videos, uh, that has gone out, like, a couple, 
I think it was like the other, like just the other day, and like uh, there was, like, it's like talking about you know like title like you know Hub City exclusive POIs. They're trying to say some like say some stuff like you know, they're like there are no exclusive POIs in the Hub City and everything like that. And oh, almost backed into the uh, almost backed into the spikes there. But um, they were trying to tell me like. Like, uh, there are, you know, like, there's no Hub City exclusive POIs, like, aside from, like, you know, maybe the destroyed buildings over there, like, and, uh, I tried to explain to them, it's a, uh, that there are a couple exclusive POIs to the Hub City, but they, like, um, the exclusive Hub POIs, like, are, on this version at least, or, and like they did get updated or later on on PC, a couple shotgun parts, nothing out of you, and nothing out of you. As I was saying, is like, like uh, if you watch the video with the, with the, the hub, the me doing that, it's like the apartment buildings I went in, like that have the munitions crates in them. Those are exclusive POIs to the hub city. They're like. Those are, you'll only ever find those, uh, partic like, those, uh, both color variations of the, uh, apartment building, like, uh, the only real difference is, like, the stash is, uh, like, the big stash is just located a little bit differently in the buildings, but, as I was saying, the, you'll only ever really find those in the, in the, you only ever find those in the hub city. It's a big, you know, and then the other one is the, I call it the big shotgun messiah, but it's the shotgun messiah with a shooting range in the back. And uh, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know, but um, that's another hub exclusive. person was trying to say, you know, like they're not hub exclusive and that they find them all the time. It's like, they might not have been realizing that I'm talking about legacy version here. Um, oh, nice, nice beanie. Nice little bandana. Uh, but they, I even asked, like, because it, it was in Spartan 85's um, server, it's like, I'm in that Discord server, yo, yo, I, but, uh, I even asked Spartan himself, yo, know, just to be, you know, just to make sure, like, yo, know, he even confirmed for me, it's like, yeah, those, those POIs are, exclusive to the hub city because like I've never even seen them outside of a I've never even seen them outside of hub city it's like it's like unless there's an extremely rare like uh there's a seed with like the odd chance that you can find that and you'll find like where they're there I really don't know of any worlds that have those POIs outside of the hub cities but let's just see what we got here Magnum frame, pistol grip, shotgun receiver, and hunting rifle barrel, and a shotgun stocks, and then sawed off shotgun barrel, more stuff, you know, more shotgun parts, um, get rid of the old sham sandwiches, not gonna eat that can of sham, we'll scrap you because you're not really useful for, for much, and... Oh, I forgot I forgot to take the hunting rifle barrel out. Corpse, nice magnum frame, I will take it. No, magnum cylinder, I meant. <laughs> Pardon me, folks, yo. Yeah. And, you know, we'll just throw these uh, shotgun parts together and we'll grab that magnum cylinder. I busted these uh, open the last time I was in the prison, yo. Know, because, like, sometimes these, you know, these can be fairly useful for their, um... We'll just grab that again. And... For their... For turds and even toilet pistols, like... Break your waters, like, you can find them everywhere. Um... Not... Kind of striking out on the toilets at the moment, but... You know, turds are good for fertilizer. And... We'll just scrap you for iron. I can make steel arrows, no problem. Also, the corpses, yo, they can provide good ammunition. 
and we'll check you just to be absolutely certain. Grab you up and we got a little bit more iron in terms of cooking pot and just got to check out this this upper floor here, you know, just see what's in like I'll take turds just for the sake of you know, saving them for fertilizer for my farm and another magnum cylinder. Um, we'll put this together. Like I'll merge these overnight, but um, there's there's more uh, water, you know, murky water. Could just I, I have a big old stack of them at home. And what do you got? And eh, just a short iron pipe. What's in your toilet? Nada. And just more turds. So, really quick, uh, just so I can save a little bit of inventory space, uh, I think I, I don't think my mini bike's full. We still have the glitched out, uh, magnum cylinder. Where, where did I leave my mini bike at? Oh, it's right here. Ah, um, yeah, I just want to check the rest of the corpses just to see what parts they might contain. That magnum glitch is a little annoying with the cylinder hanging out. I think it's because, um, if you time it, like, uh, until you log out, it's like the magnum will, uh, like, sometimes the weapons will glitch out a little bit. It's like, I've seen it with the hunting rifle before, I believe. Like I've seen, I've seen a hunt, and I've seen it happen with that, and then I've seen, like, in the Magnum. It's an unusual little visual thing. It's like it doesn't affect the 44 Magnum in terms of its functionality, but like it'll just still fire and shoot like, like usual. But it it can be a little strange seeing that. Um, just check up this tower real quick. Load you up, and apparently nothing in there. And did I load the shotgun? Make make sure always make sure you're loaded. That's one thing I can say. You know, make sure you have your weapons loaded in case of dogs or anything like that. I personally, find the SMG is the best for for finding all that stuff. So, um. Our magnum grip, I'll take it. Just looking at my parts here, yo. Can you use, can always use a little bit of improvement. Uh, I was gonna say, do I have the same level 44 magnum cylinder? Yeah. So, what I'm actually gonna do is, uh, I think about enough looting for uh, for the time being, and uh, you know, at least for this day. I think we're gonna go. I'm gonna go and collect a little bit more resources. So, cause like I do need more stone for for concrete. I you know, want to try to get everything upgraded. Um, so, I'm actually gonna leave this episode here, YouTube. If you if you made it this far and you enjoyed the video and want to see more from me, uh, please like and comment and subscribe down below. It really helps out the channel a lot, more than you'll ever know, and near 100 subscribers, so you'll know, really appreciate it. So have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.